how to do a glasses makeup look as well as the colors I like to do with my glasses. Um, I don't really like to wear eyeshadows because you'll see in the video I just talk about it, talk about it. But yeah, let's just get started. I don't know how to film anymore. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so today we're gonna show you how to do glasses makeup with my dirty glass. So to get started with our glasses makeup, obviously we can't have glasses on to do our makeup. So first I'm going to just define our crease here a little bit. I don't really like putting on eyeshadow. I think it's pointless when you're wearing glasses because no one's really looking at your eyeshadow. They're just really looking at your eyes and your lips and stuff like that. So I just think we should just define the crease a little. So I'm taking faint from the little Urban Decay Basics palette and this nice little coastal scent fluffy majiggy brush thing and we're just gonna tap a little and put this in our crease area and this just gives it a little well makes it look a little better if you guys want to add a little bit of color to your eyelid you could add like a nude color so you don't have all the redness and stuff but I don't really care so we're just gonna um, the crease thingy. I think you all know how to define your crease by now, right? Just watch some other videos. Alright, so there we just defined it a little. Teeny, teeny. Now I like to take um, NYX, mix, NYX Milk Jumbo Eye. NYX's eyeliner pencil in the color milk. I know, but mine's, mine's really flat, so you guys might want to sharpen yours a little. I think I'll maybe zoom in a little. How about that, guys? How about that? All right, I just put this in the inner corner of my eye with my nice flat pencil here. Oh, that looks messy, guys. But it's all right, because we're just going to blend it in a little. I should probably be using a mirror for this, considering that I'm blind because I'm not wearing glasses. And I don't have my contacts on. All right, that looks better. Then that's just to add a little bit of brightness to your eyes, and so you don't look so freaking tired. As you guys are probably staying until like three o'clock in the morning and doing who knows what. We're going to do some more makeup now. Such a great video, guys. A great video. Great video. I'm taking the Naked Two palette, and I'm taking this little brush. I like to use this gold color right here. I think it's so fancy looking. And I like to put this where I put down the white over here, but not in the inner part. Just right underneath. See, I don't even have that much white on, but like the light really catches it and it looks fancy. All right. So now that we have a little bit of gold underneath her eye, that's what we're looking like so far. We're looking all golden and shiny like a shining star. Okay, and then, oh, I just poked my eye. That kind of hurt. This, this video is totally on crack. First video since I've been back. Well, this actually might be the second video you guys will see since I've been back. But this is the first video I'm filming. So, then I'm going to take my eyelash curler, my little handy thing. Oh, it's actually pretty clean today. Anyway, so we're gonna curl our lashes. You know, guys, I think you all know how to do this. You just put your lashes in the thing and you press down. Just don't get your eyelash skin. Well, that one's really up there. And you know, don't get your eyelash skin because that's going to hurt. But you guys see how it automatically curled my lashes like up? Well, somebody was asking why I do an eyelash curler. Well, that is why because it makes your eyelashes like stick out more and then it's going to make them look more dramatic and fancy licious and I don't know why I just closed my mirror because I still need that. Now we're going to put on some mascara. The one I like to use is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express, this nice blue pack here. This is kind of looks like the color, um, the nail polish color of Butler Please by Essie. They match, they go together. Okay, so now I'm taking some mascara. Um, I like to put it on my bottom lashes too, all the time, but also when I'm wearing glasses but really I just I just do it all the time so bottom lashes looking good woohoo okay 
So then we got a bottom lashes, looking fancy, looking pretty, pretty fancy there. Now we're gonna do our top lashes. Get some more mascara on my wand. And our top lashes. This is a pretty simple look, guys. But it's how I like it when I wear glasses. Because all those people that are putting on pounds and pounds of eyeshadow, well, I think it's a little absurd. But hey, if you want to put on pounds and pounds of eyeshadow when you're wearing glasses, then no one's stopping you, but I'm just telling you what I like, and therefore this is my video, and I'm making the video of how I think looks good. Hello, Siren. I don't know if you heard the siren in there, because if you didn't, that would probably be weird, me saying hello, Siren. But there was a siren car that just went by. So see? They're my eyelashes, but I'm gonna put on a little bit more mascara to each eye. Make it look more voluptuous and sexy licious. I did not say fancy licious. I said fancy. I don't remember it's saying fancy licious. I don't remember saying fancy licious. Anyway, so there are well there is our eye makeup. Also, when you're wearing glasses, define your eyebrows. I already did that beforehand. I just used a pencil, not eyeshadow, but define your eyebrows. Please, please do that. For our lips, I should probably put my glasses on to show you guys what it looks like, right? Hey, they're kind of clean. Well, there is our glasses. See, like, what kind of eyeshadow would you see on there? Like, when you always have, like, a glare and reflection and stuff, and, like, just try not to have a glare. Oh, that's not working. I can't do it. But, what, what's the point of, um, eyeshadow, right? So at least our eyelashes are looking good, see? Our eyelashes look good in the glasses. So for lipstick, I like to either do a really bold color or something a little muted down. So like I would do this nice pink. This one is just from Maybelline. This is the new Vivid's Maybelline. This is in the color Shock and Coral. It's a very, very bright pink. I would either do a red, this is Ruby Woo from MAC, or I would do a little muted down orange. I could do bold too, but I like this muted down one. This is Coral Berry from Revlon. But today we're going to do a lip stain. I just wanted to give you guys some options of what I would normally do. Today I just feel like using a lip stain, so I'm going to use this. Where is this from? I didn't even tell you guys. I just put it on. Way to go me. Um, this is from L'Oreal. It's in the color Rose On and On. You guys have probably seen this in a lot of videos because I just love this lip stain. Yeah. What you doing? Homeboy. I'm watching your weirdness. She's watching my weirdness. It's quite entertaining. I'm glad I could be of entertainment. You just made me get a big blob of lip stain. You're welcome. So see, that just adds a little bit of color, a little teeny bit of shine, and it makes you look gorgeous. And there we have it. We have a nice lip color. It's our eye makeup right there. Yeah, looking good. That is the end of my video, and I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this glasses makeup look, and yeah, it's going to make you want to get your own pair of glasses if you don't already have any, if you're not blind like me. I will talk to you guys later. Take care, because I care, and I love you. Bye, guys.